This right here is the M-Stick 4 and it will turn your car's built-in screen into an Android tablet experience. And the beautiful thing about that is that you can install any app from the Play Store. So any map app you wanna use, any music app, any video app while you're parked, uh, you can use that with this device. The only requirement that you need is Android Auto. So you should already know by now if your car has Android Auto built in. If it doesn't, this will not work. But if it does, stick around. I'm gonna show you what's in the box. We'll get it set up and show you what it's all about. So let's do it. All right, so here's the unboxing of the product. Got some cables here. Here is the box. Here's what it looks like on the back. All right. So here is the booklet. And here's what you came for right here. Here's the box. This thing is tiny. It feels a lot like a, almost like a battery bank. Maybe it's the best um, comparison I can make it, although it's significantly lighter. There's our USB-C port uh, right there. You've got a an, uh, micro SD there. Looks like a SIM tray. I've got a button here on the side, very clicky. Okay, so this thing actually has a locking mechanism on it right here, these two dots. So you can actually take your cable like I have here and you can just tighten it up a little bit. You don't want to over tighten it because you don't want to break it. So once you get it in there, it looks a little something like this. So you don't have to worry about the cable you know, coming out of the box. It's pretty clever. So here's my CarPlay port down here. Got a red light on there. And we're gonna see what happens to the radio here. Now it's turning blue. Okay. Android Auto Connected. Look at this. This is cool. It's got a little animation there. We want English, please. And uh, we're going to hit start. View M Stick feature. So we got split screen maker, sound studio, AV sync adjustment, app control volume. Okay. So it's got like a whole like EQ kind of thing happening here. Look at that. And then app volume control. So you got a mic and GPS on this device. That's uh, very interesting. Okay. So you can use your car's mic if you want to. You can use a smartphone mic only if you have an Android. So iPhone, I'm out. And we're just going to go with the default here. So you want to see what it does. Yep. So we're going to start the setup here. Okay. So let me get my phone out here. We can pair this thing to my phone. So here's the uh, here's the Embridge app. Okay, let me go ahead and authenticate myself here. There we go. I don't know if I need to open this first or what, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and set this down. I'm going to set my phone down, and then we're going to go here. Oh, okay, so they want you to run the app first. Okay, got it. Got it. Well, it'll be a minute. My app is downloading. Okay. So, yes. Blah, 
Bluetooth connection prep. Okay, if it blinks blue, so it is blinking blue right now. Okay. M stick four. Yes, we want to pair it. Sure, no problem. All right, so it basically said on the screen, I'm sorry my phone was in the way, but it said that it needed to restart the m -Stick 4 device. So that's what it's doing now. It is restarting as evident by this red light. This red light is going to turn blue here once it's ready here in a moment. There's the blue. So now we wait for it to connect. Okay, it says Android Auto connected. Okay, I guess we have to go through this again. Yeah, we looked through all this already. So we're going to use that. We're going to use the GPS. We're going to start the setup. Okay. Okay. So we should be able to, okay, there we go. So I have registered now. Perfect. If you do not see M stick screen on your car display, please refer here. Oh, wait, I need to confirm it. Here we go. Confirm. Okay, so now on my phone, it is connecting here. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my phone's hotspot for the purpose of this setup. Let's go ahead and hit that. So there you go. I'm successfully connected on my phone there. And then I should be able to hit back here. And you can see here that it says that the uh, phone is connected via Wi-Fi. We are on the latest version. Everything's connected here. So now we're going to go back to the screen and we're going to hit confirm. Yeah, connect it up. All right, so we are connected. I guess this is the back screen. I'm not much of an Android guy. You'll have to forgive me. All right, so that is the... That is the home screen there. That is the the thing set up. All right, let's go ahead and do the old startup test here. Timer starting now. Now your device is going to have a red light as seen right down here. But we're going to keep our eyes here on the screen, keep this thing going and see how long that it takes. It is a full Android device. It's not like one of these CarPlay dongles that boots up in like 20 seconds. So it may take a few extra seconds uh, than what you may be used to with a typical wireless dongle. All right, there we go. Android Auto connected. There is our home screen right there. All right, so the cool part about this device is that you have access to the Google Play Store. I don't really need notifications, but uh, you can come in here and download pretty much whatever you want. Whatever's available on the Google Play Store can be downloaded on here. So let's do something like, I don't know, let's do, let's try Peacock. Time to time wrestling's on there and maybe that's something I might want to watch. So let's go ahead and uh, add that to our list. And, you know, maybe if we don't like Google Maps, we can always use Waze, right? So let's go ahead and add Waze on here. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's talk about maps here. I like Waze, so let's go ahead and open up Waze. And what I think gives the M-Stick 4 the advantage here is the fact that you can actually pinch to zoom... Now, my screen is not nearly as soft and smooth and glossy as other screens. I think the Toyota screens are terrible, but the M-Stick 4 is still responding immediately to my touch. No problem. You hit the little thing, it brings you right back home. No problem. And you get the real-time data because 
The uh, M-Stick 4 has GPS built into it, but you can also use your car's GPS, which if your car has GPS, you're going to want to use that. There is an option for that where you can enable that. And actually, if I come home here, yes, let's shut that down. And then we come into here and let's see, where is it? Uh, yeah, right here. Select GPS. I've got car's GPS enabled, but you can also use the GPS of the M-Stick 4 if you need to, no problem. And then at that point, you're good to go. One of the main features that I think a lot of people are going to enjoy about this box, you know, maybe you're on a road trip, you're taking a break, you're getting some food. This thing can run any app on the Play Store, as we've already mentioned. So you can watch things like YouTube, no problem. Loads right up. There it is. Um, let's see here. Let me turn off the volume here just because I do not want a copyright strike from WWE. They're just right here on my homepage. And, well, we'll turn it up a little bit. And there you go. You got the stupid chat here. Let me get rid of those people. But as you can see here, it's working very nicely. Obviously, it's going to adjust to your network conditions. You know, if you're like me and you only got two bars in the area that you're in, I'm hot spotting off my phone. But if you've got like two bars, um, this is still a good picture for two bars. You know, you're just sitting here kind of enjoying the picture. It's not like it's going to be a 4K crystal clear. Part of that's going to depend on your head unit as well. But as you can tell, this thing is streaming uh, very smoothly. There's no hiccups or anything like that. It's just very smooth. All right, so let's come out of that. Let's try another video app just so you can check that out as well. Let's go into Peacock here. Uh, no, I do not want notifications. Leave me alone. Um, so let's just scroll down. Let's find what's on here that looks interesting. We just saw some wrestling there. Oh, we have live programming. So we have some speed skating. This is not really my particular thing to watch, but let's show something different other than just wrestling. There you go. The responsiveness is very easy on your car's Wi-Fi. You're good to go. Another great feature of the M-Stick 4 is the ability to do a split screen here. So let's come over here. They've already got this built for you. So you can just go into split screen mode, real simple. You add your first app. So we're going to come down and we're going to select Waze, right? There we go. Now let's do something like a YouTube music. So we can get our music and we're going to hit save. We're going to add that to the home screen. We're going to back out of this. Now, we've got our app added right there. No problem. So, I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And it's going to launch both apps, no problem. Now, the cool thing about this is, is that you can actually adjust the ratio as you go along. So, you can say, give me a little bit more. And that kind of compresses this down. Maybe if you want a little bit more of the maps. Or if you're content with the maps, you can bring this over and give it just a little bit more. And you can, I don't know why you'd want your maps that small, but you can do this. So depending on what app you're using, you can adjust this ratio to your liking. You can make it a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller. I think that's about dead center right there, but super simple to do. And it's nice of them to have this built in this feature so that you can just pick two apps and go. All right, one of the features I wanna show you here is the sound studio right here. If we just go right there, I already have mine enabled, but you can actually set it up for a custom for your car by hitting the auto tune button. You'll be logged into the app, the M stick for app, and it'll actually measure the sound in your car and it will tune it to the specif the specifics of your particular sound system, which is kind of cool. And if you want to turn it off, guess what? You just turn it off that easy, done. You know, as we wrap this thing up, I really believe that this box kind of packs a really big punch for such a small package. I mean, the fact that it's loaded with six gigabytes of RAM, I mean, that is like more than enough to handle anything that you throw at it. If you look back earlier in the video, the video playback, whether that's YouTube or even the live streaming, like, what other box can you find like this on the market that's going to play back live streaming? And I only had two bars, by the way. So, yes, the picture quality was not like razor sharp or anything, 
But typically when you try some of these other boxes, you run into these issues where there's like stuttering and, and all this kind of other stuff. And as you saw there, it was like super smooth playback, which I can really appreciate. So if you're somebody that spends a lot of time in your car or you're doing a lot of road tripping or whatever the case may be, I think that if you're looking for one of these, we'll call it AI entertainment type boxes for your car, this to me, I, I think this box is going to be kind of the leader of the pack when it comes to all the other ones because you don't need the phone. That's the beautiful part. You don't need the phone. It just runs by itself unless you need the data hotspot. So I'm going to go ahead and give this thing a very high recommendation. I just wish that my radio was a little bit newer because on a lot of the newer uh, radios, you've got the bigger screen. It's a lot more clear. And uh, I feel that this thing would even be more awesome on like a newer radio, like a 2023, 2024, 25 uh, based radio that's going to have a lot more power than my 2021 radio. But all things considered, I think it performed very well. So if you like what you saw or if you just want more information in general on this product, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link down below in the description and the pinned comment. So whichever one you want to hit up, go ahead and hit it up down there and uh, check it out for yourself. I appreciate you watching. Hit the like button if you like this video. Hit subscribe if you want a little bit more and hit the bell so that you'll be notified every time I publish brand new videos. Thank you so much for watching.